Hey everyone, I got a new package in here for an addition to the GS1250. Going down the road, I've noticed some of the bikes coming at me with the driving lights like this has. Um, those with just the standard ones or those with the yellow covers. And one thing I noticed, the ones with the yellow covers really stood out. So that made a big difference in visibility compared to just the uh, without having the yellow covers on. So I just ordered a pair up off Amazon, inexpensive, about 26 bucks. The oh, brand is RS Wolf and something like that. So bring this closer to you, let you see what it looks like. You get two of these. You know, you get uh, these swivel, so you can tilt them up or down. So if you want the clear for nighttime, you just flip it up. It's got a couple of holes to go under the standard, where the standard mounting holes are. And you get four screws that are longer and washers. So let's go put these on and see how they look. And before we put them on... Before we put them on, that's what you've got for a picture with it on just the white without the covers on it. So we'll see the, how they look with the covers. Okay, to swap these out, looks like we need a T30 and a T25. So I'll go ahead and back this out all the way. So not on the back side. In there. And then we need T25 for these parts. This has to come off. These screws will be replaced by a couple Allen heads that are longer that comes with it Just to make up for the extra spacing in between. All right. So that's off. And that's just got its bushing, the rubberized damping bushings here's something interesting the kit comes with these replacement screws they're allen heads with nylon washers you think these would be longer due to the extra spacing from the brackets but they are actually shorter so I'm going to elect to use the stock screws the torque screws that are on here figure the kit might be generic to fit whatever so I'll go ahead and just use the stock screws I don't want to go to a shorter screw and have less threads through it all right so I just the uh, standard torque screw. See the one hole is your regular hole and the forward hole is elongated. So I'll just start the rear hole. Oops, get that in place. Got it started. Bottom one. Just snug those down nicely. Don't 
need a ratchet on there, just torque screwdriver, get it nice and tight. Okay, now put this in position. Slide the torque screw through there. And you know, let me get a, figure out what size nut that is. This is 10 mil nut. Get that slid on. Slide that down. I'll put 10 mil wrench right in the back to keep the nut from moving and tighten this down. Get the angle that I want it on back to where it was. That's a little, there we go. Don't want that pointing up in the sky. Try to keep it horizontal. Don't need to be blinding people. back in place yeah it's nice and snug see that flips up and Flips down. So inexpensive, doesn't need to be expensive for what it does. That'll cover it. So all we need it to do is just change the color. So now amber I mean yellow it's a bit different and why it looks bright but tell you what when you see them coming down the road you see the white headlight you see the yellow versus the white you really notice the white stand out I mean the yellow stand out when they're just coming at you or you see it in your mirrors so let's go ahead and get the other side done and call it a day all right so here they are the yellow lenses outdoors